Miss Olga, Olga Núñez Neved, and I'm from Barcelona in Spain, but I've lived in the UK for quite a few years. I'm a psychiatrist working in a forensic unit. Um, I was going to say by day, but uh, yeah, by day, that's true. Uh, but I've always loved reading and writing, and uh, although I have never done very much about it, I have uh, recently um, used the facilities of self-publishing and published a few stories and books. The first one I published is uh, a novel called The Man Who Never Was and also has a Spanish version, El Hombre Que Nunca Existió. Its origins are um, slightly curious, uh, like many things in my life. Um, when I was in my late teens, just before I went to university, I used to read a lot of uh, Central and South American writers that were writing in the style that was called, and still is called, uh, magic realism, where bizarre things would happen in pretty normal surrounds otherwise, um, sort of magical things really. Um, and uh, I was particularly fond of Isabel Allende's La Casa de los Espíritus, The House of the Spirits. Um, much of what I write tends to be um, sometimes especially short stories on the what if kind of thing. I think of a story and I think, well, what would happen? What would be the story around it if this particular event happened or this particular character appeared? Uh, and in this case, I had this scene in my head, uh, you know, this young boy who is born very, very ugly. So ugly that his grandmother, you know, exclaims when uh, she sees him, Jesus, Jesus, uh, he has the face of the devil. And uh, everybody around him then thinks that this must be fate, he cannot be quite as ugly for nothing. And then I built a story around this character, Jesus, uh, his grandmother, evidently his mother, his mysterious father, as they don't know who his father is, or, well, he doesn't know, uh, his mother never tells him. Um, and then there are other characters uh, that are also special, like his uh, sister, Steffi, who um, can tell the future and is a child prodigy and, you know, she's very successful at everything she does. Uh, he has a friend who's a very good businesswoman. His mother eventually gets into politics, uh, so there's a lot of political background around the story, but, you know, there's the wall of cinema. And the story is sort of a family saga. As it, covers not only, you know, grandparents, his parents, him, but also the next generation. Uh, but it does have a few, you know, sort of interestingly outwardly kind of touches. Um, what I did was I wrote a story that wasn't very long, about 60 pages or so, and, um, you know, only some friends and relatives read it, and I forgot all about it. This was in Spanish. Years, not that many years back, I found it again. I reread it and I thought, well, it probably deserves actually to be developed a bit more. Translated it to English uh, and evidently sort of passed it onto a computer file. And then I thought, well, it was a Spanish to begin with, so I might as well translate it to Spanish. So it's gone from Spanish to English back to Spanish again. So, um, and as I was saying, I did publish it in Amazon uh, last year. And uh, it is there. Um, yes, I would advise you to have a look. It's uh, curious, the characters are not your everyday thing. Evidently, having a central character that is very ugly instead of the sort of dark, handsome, and you know, chisel kind of looks, it's a bit different. Uh, but all the characters are quite special, and um, I do like Jesus, I think he's a character. Um, I've written other things, but you know, have a look and check. Thank you.